Which important but often misused and misunderstood skill should you master if you want to create an experience for your audience? The answer to that question will be found in this daily dose of public speaking wisdom. Think about the last few really good presentations you've heard. What do they have in common? They probably had a good message. They were probably entertaining and chances are very good they included humor. Humor is a key element in many presentations today. In fact, I can't think of a good speech I've heard lately, one that stuck with me that didn't include humor. Well, there's a big challenge with humor. It is a misunderstood and often misused aspect of speaking and presentations. In the next few videos, you'll pick up some tips on how to effectively discover and use your humor so that it adds to your message and doesn't detract from it. Today's lesson is simple. You should not use jokes. You should uncover humor in your stories. What does that mean? Well, for decades, speakers were given the advice to start your speech with a joke. That'll loosen them up and get them laughing. That may have worked in the 20th century. It doesn't work today. Why is that? Because a joke, if it falls flat, will immediately put you in a hole. You're going to have to recover from that. Your audience is sitting there thinking, what is this, a comedy club? That wasn't funny. And what does it have to do with making my life better? Secondly, we have access to joke tellers, comedians, 24-7 now. We've got it on cable TV. Comedy clubs are flourishing all over the country, if not the world. We can get our jokes somewhere else. That's not where they come to hear you speak. When I say jokes versus humor, what do I mean? I'm talking the traditional joke, you know, the rabbi, the pastor, and the Buddhist monk walk into a bar kind of joke. <laughs> That's not what people need. When I say humor in stories, what I'm talking about is the lines of dialogue or the situations that people laugh at that are part of the human experience. An example from one of the stories that I often share in these tips is when I was sitting in my boss's office back in 1994, and he was reviewing some of the evaluations I'd gotten from my workshops, and it was awful. People were saying that I was moving too much, I was too much of a distraction, not good information, um, to talk too fast, move too much, and all that. It was just, and I was feeling awful, and I finally said, is there anything good in there? And he said, yes, hold on, let me find it. He flips through some pages and says, yeah, here it is. Mike has nice hair. Why is that funny? Well, you'll learn that in subsequent videos. But for now, just know that that is a real life story. That's exactly what happened. I can still see that evaluation in my head. Mike has nice hair. Those real life situations, the dialogue, the written evaluation, the humorous lines people say, that is what will, will stick with audiences because it drives home the point of your message. Again, in the next few videos, I'll give you some insight into how to uncover your humor and avoid jokes so that you can leave a lasting impression and entertain your audience at the same time. See you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.